<laughs> uh, so Caden was being a little conflicted because he put a little baby crawfish on there and he was like, I don't know about putting this little guy out there and immediately a bass just blasted it. <laughs> he said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no, brother, I'm starting to wonder if we're gonna go hungry today. There's lunch, boys. We're eating good today. Robbed me blind. So these guys are the little thieves right here. All right, big day today. We've got lots of plans and they all revolve around the pond. We are going to the new fishing store up in Greenup. These guys just opened up about a month ago. So Caden has a tackle box that's almost empty and we're gonna go fix that. Oh, this is new? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> What'd you get? Crawfish and shiners. Crawfish and shiners? What? <laughs> You gonna fish with that? Catch mm -hmm. some big bass? Do y'all sort your tackle in the truck? Caden does. You having fun? What, what's that one there? Hold that up here. That's a fancy looking lure, man. That thing was 10 bucks? Man, you got me. Woo! Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. My name's Lucas. And I'm Caden. And we're sharing our hobbies here on 38 acres in Eastern Kentucky. And today, we are up at the pond. Now listen. It is not fall yet, but we are having fall-like weather. This morning it was like 65 degrees and the high today is 80. So it's gonna be a nice day. We just wanted to get out and have some fun and that's what we're gonna do today. Tell them what our plan is. We're gonna try to catch some fish, try to catch catfish and bluegill, and then we're gonna cook them and eat them. We're gonna cook them. So our lunch depends on what we can catch this morning. And we're using Crawfish and shiners. Yeah, and so. Canadian night crawlers. Canadian night crawlers, that's right. We picked out some lures and we got his tackle box filled up. And then we saw that they sell shiners and minnows and crawfish and all of that, so. I was honestly about to say night worms. Night worms? Night worms. <laughs> and night crawlers. So we got just a little bit of everything, just one, so that we could support the new local business because, you know, a tackle shop, 10 minutes from the house, that's awesome. And so we could try it out. We've never really fished with live bait in the pond before. You know, as a bass fisherman in the past, I've always frowned on using any kind of live bait and all that because I just, you know, it's about the sport of it. But today we need to harvest some fish out of this pond. It's been stocked for three years and our bluegill population has exploded. Our bass are not growing that well. And I think it's because they're way outnumbered. So we're not gonna eat any bass, but we're gonna try to catch some of everything so that we can show you the size of the fish that we have in our pond. And oh. we're gonna eat catfish and bluegill. Dad hooked into a giant catfish a couple nights ago. I did, I caught a dandy. And uh, it was that, like at least three pounds. And that got us excited. So we're gonna try to do a little bit of pond management and harvest some fish out of here and have a good lunch. Hey buddy, where's your other claw? <laughs> I think a bass would, on a crawfish like that, would just nail it. Dad? Whatever it is, I got it hooked. Oh, it is a bass. That's a <laughs> nice, uh, I mean, oh yeah, that's a Decent. Oh, shoot, broke my hook off though. Well, I was over there putting new line on my rod and Caden caught a nice little bass. Woo! All right, what bait were you using? Worm, actually. Night crawler? Right, that's a pretty good bass. We're gonna try to grow them over the next year. So throw him back in there. All right, well I put new line on my rod because that line was a couple of years old. And when I caught that little bass, the line broke and uh, it should not have. And now, I am going to catch us some lunch. I'm going with something I know I can catch us some lunch. I'm putting some catfish bait on here and getting on the board. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Oh no, brother, I'm starting to wonder if we're going to go hungry today. We might have to wait tomorrow, dude. Maple, what do you think? You think we it can catch It worked out yesterday if we chummed it, when we chummed it before. So maybe we should chum it. We might have to stay here all day. All day. 
all day. I'm all right with that. It feels pretty good out here, doesn't it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boom. Oh. There's lunch. There's lunch, boys. Look at it fighting. That's a catfish. That's a cat. I told you. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We're eating good today. I think we should let that one back. No way, man. That's lunch. <laughs> uh, so Caden was being a little conflicted because he put a little baby crawfish on there and he was like, I don't know about putting this little guy out there and immediately a bass just blasted it. <laughs> he said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's a good catch, man. All right, so, so far we have caught them on crawfish. And, ah. Oh! I missed it. Almost a shiner. Almost a shiner. Yeah, I'm guessing I have a young adult. They're biting it. Got it. Ah! Oh! Again. Again. Let the master show you a thing. I set the hook on that one. <laughs> Look at that little bass that ate that shiner. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I, got, I got all excited. Look at that little bass that ate that shiner. This, though, is why we uh, are going to harvest some fish out of here. I'm going to start bluegill fishing here soon. But the shiners are fun, so I'm throwing another one out. Ripping lips, baby, ripping lips. Yeah, with the shiners, that's what you're gonna catch pretty much every time. <laughs> All right, <laughs> catch and release. That's three bass for you today, right? Yeah, three bass for you, me. And three bass for me, and a catfish. So you probably need to change your bait and put on one of these pieces of catfish bait. Catch your lunch. I've got my lunch in the basket. Ho, 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 ho. How long are we staying here? All day. All day? Okay. I got nothing else planned, son. I set aside the whole day to just come up here and fish and play. Me and Caden are having a good time. And Maple. Right, Maple? Man. Just pulling in the bass. That's four. You didn't even catch the bait. Oh. Bluegill. Oh, that's a little guy. You ain't a eater. It's not? No. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. You're a newbie. So that bass right there, talk about aggressive. I changed the line on my rod because this very first fish I caught today broke my hook off right where it was tied on and my line was a little bit old so i thought well i'll uh i'll change it out still had its hook in its mouth and he caught it again all right let's uh get him acclimated and let him swim away happily there he goes all right that's pretty interesting that in a pond of this size with the number of fish we've got in here that we'd catch the same bass again especially when he had a hook in his mouth. That's pretty cool and I'm glad I was able to get the hook out of him and send him on his way. Are you just kidding me? <laughs> I mean, just one right after another. That's six bass this morning. Well, they like them shiners, don't they? They love them. Give me my shiner back, you. Look and see if he's got a hole on the side of his mouth. It might be the same one a third time. <laughs> the Sportsman's Exchange, that's the name of the new fishing shop. Green up in green up kentucky and they were doing a really cool thing today there's a little bluegill tournament at the local lake greenbow lake they went out there and set up a table and they were giving away a free pack of uh you know plastic worms and a thing of night crawlers or something like that to every kid that was fishing that's why i like to support small local businesses or new and small yeah i think you're 
No, uh, that's no. a new one. That must be the one from earlier. It'll get eaten. Bass number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you tearing them up. Maple, what do you think of them bass, huh? She don't know what to think. Give me the pliers. I'm not touching this, dude. Last time he's fine, dude. Dude, that's a dandy. Is that number nine? That's 10. That's 10? 10. 10 bass today. And that's probably the biggest of the day. Dude, that's probably the biggest bass you've ever caught, isn't it? Grab him by the... He come unhooked. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Lip that sucker and hold him up here. That's That's a damn. Oh, he's biting. He won't hurt you though. Yeah, buddy. That's what we're trying to grow. Even bigger. Okay? Ah. Oh, they robbed me again. I'm changing hooks. All right, I changed my hook. I lost three fish in a row on that last hook, so I'm trying a different style of hook. Oh, it ain't the hook. It's It's got to be bluegill hitting it or something. They're just robbing me. Well, here's the last catfish bait, so. Ah, oh, I was trying to let them eat it real good. They got me. Robbed me blind. All right, fine. We'll throw a night crawler out there. Oh, there's a little bite. Yeah, it's bluegill. So these guys are the little thieves right here. Are you going to eat them? He's too little. I eat him. Even though... There he goes. And guys, I promise we have some bluegills in there bigger than this. This is the only size biting today. All right, I put me another different hook on. I put a small hook on, see if I can't catch the bluegill a little easier. Is that bass number 11? That's a pretty nice one. Too bad you can't eat it. I'm eating it. You're not eating it. I'm eating it. We're not eating a bass. Tell me what you guys do. I just can't do it. I did one time, the very first big bass I ever caught, a five pounder out of a pond. We kept it and ate it. I'm starting to think that we are going to enact a feeding program in our pond to get these bluegill up to size. Because so far, everything I'm catching is too small to eat. But I just put a big old worm on there, try to catch another catfish. Hayden, put the bass back. I know, I'm going over here. Thank you. Nice. There you go. Bye bye. I love watching them swim away. Just go. Just stroll away. All right, that does it. Does it? This is gill number six, at least, maybe seven. I don't know. I kind of lost count, but. A little bit. Well, I saw another catfish, but I don't think it's big enough to eat, brother. Yes, it is. No. That is okay. It is not. We got lunch now, boys. He's not just huge, but we can get some meat off of him, and that'll make a meal. So that'll work. You gonna put him in the basket? All right. I'm gonna try to catch one more. Is that a keeper? Keep it anyways. Yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> you, you keep anything, won't you? Maple, careful. Maple! You <laughs> might get spawned. All right. Well, we've got lunch. Let's see it. Got some catfish in there. That, that'll be enough to eat, won't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Maple? Fire, so 
Well, we would probably go hungry if we were left out in the wild. I've been watching a lot of like alone and outsiders and stuff. And I think, yeah, I could do that until you give me like all the real gear to catch fish and uh, have a fire and um, I still struggle to get enough to eat. <laughs> but on Outlast and alone and stuff, you're at like beaches kind of. And you think the fishing would be easier? I don't think it would be easier. You could just catch a bigger lot bigger fish. fish. Yeah, yeah, we struggled with fish size, which is something we're gonna do something about. We got the seasoning good, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Good and salty and peppery. Catch, clean, and cook. Was it everything you hoped it would be? We got a little less, less meat than I thought we would, but yes, it was. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm still hungry. <laughs> We're probably have, gonna have to go down and get something to eat. <laughs> but it was a good time and it didn't go the way I expected. I expected to catch a bunch of bluegill. And let's do the rundown. How, what, what did you catch? Bunch of bass. How many? Like 12, I think. 12 bass and one bluegill, right? And I caught four catfish, five catfish. Five. I caught five catfish and I think four bass and about seven bluegill, something like that. When are we gonna do it again? Tomorrow. Well, I think we're gonna do it again after we grow these fish a little bit. So stay tuned because we have a plan and we're actually about to get started on that. We're gonna grow these fish, aren't we? Guys, until next time, get outside and enjoy God's creation because it is beautiful out here. Have a good day. Y'all have a good day.